Hi, I'm Katie Tapp, and I'm going to be reading a monologue from the play Unbearable Hotness. You sound just like Brandon. For two years, I beg him to transfer here so we can be together. Oh no, he says, some of my credits won't transfer over. I'll have to spend an extra semester to catch up. Then, on his visit over winter break, I introduce him to Marissa. Suddenly he's all, what's one semester when I can be with you? And he transferred. Then, last night, he kept repeating her name in his sleep. Marissa, oh Marissa. I wake him up. What were you just dreaming about? Uh, nothing. And I'm like, it's never going to happen. And he's all, what's never going to happen? And I'm like, Marissa, you and Marissa. And he's all, why would I want to be with Marissa? You and I are together. So I go, if we weren't together, would you date her? And he's all trying to act casual. I guess I'd be open to it. Why? Did she say something about me? And I'm like, no, did you not hear me when I said it's never going to happen? Then he's all offended. Well, never is pretty harsh. I mean, I'm pretty good with the ladies. And I'm like, not from where I'm standing, buddy. Then he goes, so you're saying you want to break up? Yeah, we broke up. Um, so this is a monologue from A Midsummer's Night Dream by Shakespeare. Oh, I am out of breath in this fond chase. The more my prayer, the lesser is my grace. Happy is Hermia wheresoever she lies. How came her eyes so right, not with salt tears? If so, my eyes are often are washed in hers. No, no, I am as ugly as a bear. For beasts that meet me run away from fear. Therefore, no marvel through Demetrius. Do, as a monster, fly my presence thus. What wicked and dissembling glass of mine made me compare with Hermia's sphere eye? But who's here? Lysander? On the ground? Dead? Or asleep? I see no blood, no wound. Lysander, if you live, good sir, awake. Yeah. <laughs>